Welcome to Grab Reload. I'm Anthony, and I'm going to go through a review, my review, of the Framework laptop. This is the 12th generation. Um, uh, I got the DIY edition, so I got my own SSD in here. Uh, RAM I purchased, and but I ordered this back in May. Got it in July, right? They have the pre-order and everything else. And I will, I will say, I really like the device. It's It works well. It has... Overall, it's got the battery life I want. You can see it's got, you know, it's got scuffs and everything else. This is a used product. This is not just going to sit there. It's, <laughs> I'm using it a lot. And I wanted to have a review out sooner, but I like to have things for about a month before I do a review so I really understand the product and maybe some of the pitfalls. I get a lot of these reviews, you know, day reviews or whatever else, day one reviews. They're... <sighs> You can't really get too much of a product, especially like a laptop, of how well it performs and how well you actually like the device. You know, touchpad, everything else, keyboard in a short period of time. So I wanted something a little bit longer. And um, off the bat, I chose RAM that was not on their compatibility list. So I chose this RAM originally, and they don't allow any tuning in their BIOS. One, a huge side effect. They have to get more out there on their bios because it, it needs to improve right this this ram right should just be able to work and, or you should be able to tune it to work if you put that in it will just crash constantly uh, about uh, depends upon how often sometimes i was able to get it a full day without crashing other times you want to whip the device across the room because it wouldn't last five minutes so there is that. I, I did purchase, you know, all the RAM that was on their supported list. Uh, what was it? Crucial. So I only got the 16 gigs in there. If it ever focuses, it's Crucial 16 gig kit. It's on their site. Also a good price. So I got I got extra RAM sitting around, but maybe I do. If they come with BIOS updates, I do want to try the RAM. So swapping it out, no big deal. I would definitely want to try it. And then I had a problem Another reason why the review got delayed is I had a problem with an SSD, not their fault at all, right? The SSD, uh, um, NVMe SSD was having problems from Western Digital. I RMA'd that. Uh, in the meantime, I got a Samsung uh, 980 Pro, and it's been working fine. So this device has been doing a great job with the Samsung 980 Pro, 16 gigs of RAM, and more browser tabs, and that should be open at a time, but... Uh, I guess I guess I'm gonna test the laptop out pretty well with having way too many browser tabs open. I, I know I should clean up my browser tabs. I kinda of use my browser tabs as my history. <laughs> so they just everyone asks, how do you know where stuff is? Well you get there eventually, right? <laughs> but the device is so here's the back of the device and it's got some nice rubber pads. These have been holding up well and as you open the device You'll kind of see it kind of you know allows it to just clear a little bit so it goes to basically even with the bottom because I do have a nice rounded edge here as you see I got these two a USB-C and a USB type A on that side and the headphone jack which is always appreciated I've never used a headphone jack but it's appreciated and then on this side you have the HDMI and USB-C both USB seeds I've used for charging. I switch off. In fact, I leave my framework charger down here at my desk all the time. And a lot of times I'm using a cell phone charger or um, I even use, a, I have a lot of Dewalt tools and I have a Dewalt uh, USB C charger. So I've used that to charge this and I've even used the batteries to charge this if I'm, if I'm too, um, I, I want to keep this mobile and I don't want to have it plugged in, right? So you just grab a Dewalt battery, plug it in, and charge it up real quick, and then you're back to full charge. So I, I've ran this down where I've had it on uh, basically battery, and then just using another Dewalt battery over and over again for a few days, um, which is pretty good because I I do I have a lot a lot of times I just have a video or something going on in the background, and you know because I like listening to things while I do other stuff. So um, that that's one big thing I like about having a mobile device. Right, this is the i5 version. This is not some incredibly powerful i7 version or whatever else or high end version. I just got the i5. I, I know that this is my media device. This is the device I take around and I just okay, I'm on the go. I need to com 
maybe you know do something I have a big powerful desktop for gaming everything else and that's how I kind of view this device but I, I really like these little um, what do they call them expansion cards and it's just USB type C that slides in there if that kind of shows off and they just slide in press them in done works really well and the hinges they, they on this uh, uh, Gen 12 version they have nice hinges that look nice and it's got a nice uh, screen you can see my lights <laughs> that I have shining and the keyboard does light up it's got a fingerprint reader there um, for the power button works works really well and the trackpad is is a nice trackpad I got some issues with the trackpad I'll get into that in a little bit but uh, you can also turn, you have the cameras here and the mic that you can turn on and off. And, uh, yeah, it works really well overall. Great screen. I like it. Um, replacing stuff seems really easy. I've taken this thing apart a couple times, especially with the different RAM and the different SSD to get that all working. And, yeah, I have an, I have an extra SSD now, which I'm going to have to put into something. Oh, darn. But uh, you also can see the speakers here. Um, that's another fun little thing, but overall the framework laptop, right? It's a nice device. It's light and I, I like using it. So getting into some of the other things that are happening with framework that I really like, you know, they have schematics. Yep. They're, they're outing or they're getting out there and they're on GitHub. If you are a, a, um, a repair store, you can get these and you can talk to them and they'll get the schematics to repair this. I really like the repair side of things, right? The longevity of the device and being able to device use a device longer is something that's really attractive, especially when I get done with technology, it is not, you know, technology being done for me, I'm usually upgrading before the technology is completely um, unusable, right? Before it's broken. So I always, I always give it to somebody. Somebody is going, either somebody in need or my parents or somebody else, parents basically in need for um, tech stuff, um, I am the tech support, is going to somebody because they should have an opportunity to get a better device and use it up until it goes kaput and without having to, you know, strong around. If they, I mean, if they don't have the money, that's one thing where I like to really give back into people because it's, it's a piece of technology, and if I'm getting rid of it, I don't want it to go into a landfill. I want somebody to get use out of it. So that's one thing I really like about the schematics getting out there. Very good job by framework of getting it out there. And one additional thing that I really have to like, I've been wanting to actually try to get, uh, maybe purchase one of these, is the fact that framework is going through and having refurbished uh, laptops for Gen uh, 11th gen processors, which I rather really have a 12th gen, right? But, uh, you know, maybe I would try one out. My wife is thinking about the idea of going back to a laptop. She really wants a touchscreen, which is something I'll touch on there in a second. But, you know, they're refurbishing the product. You can go get it and done, right? You have a device that's been refurbished, a little bit lower cost, right, because they've been able to fix it as older generation. They also have refurbished expansion card packs, which is a great idea, I feel like they have. And then you just need a charger to charge this, and you're off to the race. Well, OS and memory, all that other stuff. But you're off to the races, right, with these DIY versions, which is a lower cost to entry. And then somebody that then can have a repairable device that then they don't have to go through, especially if they're short on cash, and they, hey, we're all, right now it's a inflationary time. So if you can get something, and instead of replacing the whole device because something died on it, you can just then replace just an item. I think that's one really good thing going forward here for framework um, that they have an opportunity to really capitalize on. And I hope that they do because it seems like framework's really putting their best foot forward for these devices. Now, as I got this thing set up, right, one thing you can't do is right off the bat is plug in HDMI and hope to record off of that. I, I get I'm trying I'm pushing the device when I first got it, but you know, I, I figure I put that out there. But then install the driver pack. Um, I wish it was easier to find on their site. It is not. 
I mean, I would rather wish it was part of Windows updates, um, or that's where it really needs to go, is Windows needs to be able to control all this stuff. But the um, finding stuff on their site, they need to have like a download area. You select what laptop gen it is, and then it pops up the downloads there, not jumping through the FAQ for each device, and then inside of there, finding that web page. That's a little convoluted and not exactly seamless. Um, I, I don't know whose decision that was, but it... It seems like it, you were trying to hide things from the users in that form. So that's just me trying to work out through through things. You know, I, I, I'm the tech person for a lot of different people. I just know that you're going to want a download site and you're going to want it simple. You don't want to try to complicate the things for uh, people, especially if I'm on the phone or something, trying to walk them through a different issue, right? I, I'm trying to be... I have enough stuff to remember to try to get them to be able to um, know what they're doing and know if they're going to do it right, then to also say, oh yeah, you have to jump through this, go to this FAQ, and all that other stuff. So that's just one thing I'd like to see simplified. Because I, I see that this could really, you know, I, it could be used for a lot of different people because you have the QR codes, you have the repairability all right here. So if they're used to, you know, doing something, they would be able to be able to figure it out. So, Yeah. One downside is no touchscreen. I know my wife, if you were to put the touchscreen on this, I wouldn't have to sell her on it, right? She would be, okay, yeah, let's, I'd be willing to get it. So that's one thing I really wish that they would come out with is a touchscreen so that, I mean, even if it was being able to be swap and blend, now I know touchscreens, you have the digitizer, it's going to be a little bit thicker screen. Maybe they already accounted for that. But I also, as technology gets going forward, you're going to be able to do more with less, right? So maybe that will come out sometime. I, that would be a huge one because my wife would be like, oh, yeah, that would be there. And then I would be happy camp because then I'd have two repairable devices. You know, granted, you know, maybe they still get handed down to somebody else. But if they're much easier than having a Microsoft device that is not as that, like her surface pro is not really repairable on surface pro 4 so that's what i'm thinking about this device and this device is cheaper um and it's more powerful <laughs> because you can the framework seems to upgrade its stuff a lot sooner than microsoft so you can actually get the 12th gen before microsoft puts it in a touchscreen of their devices so that's just something i really like too now another downside is the speakers the speakers are on the bottom right so a lot of time I have this on a device or on a surface that may be just down the center, right? Or hanging off partially a shelf. I know, it should be on the shelf the whole entire time. Um, I, I have, you know, there's kids that put stuff everywhere. So sometimes it is just, actually the device hasn't fell at all. It's, it's held up. So um, it's held up to a one-year-old trying to convince that it's hers. <laughs> but when you do that, right, when you have it just, you know, in the center here, the speakers, you can't hear them. They're very quiet. Uh, the speaker, I mean, the surface, the surface speakers are much louder. The speakers could use a little bit of oomph, um, I feel like. That's one downside. And then the trackpad. Sometimes when I'm clicking on the trackpad and it's going and you're going through stuff and you're clicking... It just doesn't seem to click. So, click right. So I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about that, right? That it just doesn't, I don't know, like you click in certain areas and it doesn't register. I don't know if that's this one, if I could get another trackpad and it would be okay. Don't know. But it, it is something that maybe... Uh, <laughs> Maybe it's a quick fix, you know, just by replacing it, or it's something that they had a problem with them. I don't know. But that's just something to keep in mind, is that if you have a problem with the trackpad, maybe it's that. But first and foremost, you have to install the driver pack before you kind of make any of those assessments. So with that, you know, that is basically what I have. You got the negatives, and the positives are, would I buy it again? Yes, I would. And I would encourage you, if you're looking for a device, to totally look at framework they have the expansion cards you can swap these out or 
you can choose the configuration that works best for you and just keep them in. I, I know that they have a, a 2.5 gig NIC uh, that is coming out. It's just coming soon, still on their site. I thought they emailed me saying you could buy it, but well, th that was a while ago. I don't. Uh, it's emails. I don't pay much attention. You can do the expansion cards, right? You have five screws in the back. Take them out. You are in the device. The keyboard area pops off. You're in. The screen, you just pull around the outside of the uh, bezel, and all of a sudden, you have internal access to just unscrew it and go. It comes with a screwdriver so that it, you have everything you need to be able to assemble this, disassemble it, and be able to fix it. They did a really good job with this device. I definitely recommend it if you're in the market for a laptop. This is not a gaming device. This is not some huge device either. It is in that thin and light category and uh, to me, and it's something that if I had to buy it again, I definitely would do it. They did a good job tuning the fans, making sure that they don't run obnoxiously like my work laptop does. And overall, definitely buy the device. I get that there's a little bit of a couple issues I had, you know, maybe louder speakers. Okay, I'm, I know that's going to be a problem for me in for almost every laptop out there because of what I, where I like to listen to stuff, right? If I, I like to put it in my garage, I probably should have some speakers in my garage, right? I rely on the laptop, right? Or I rely on my phone. Not the smartest idea, but that's where the Surface kind of did a little bit better job in areas where you know you throw it in these bigger areas or not exactly here on a flat surface that reverbs the audio out and it did a better job right trackpad I deal with it it's not something horrible it works it probably works just as good as my Dell laptop from work right <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest there because that also has issues and maybe I'm a little bit more uh, this could be it too. I like to kind of push my devices and do probably way too many things on the computer at a time and sometimes it could be a Windows issue where it doesn't recognize things. That could be too. I'm not going to I'm not going to be uh, I'm not going to blame the framework laptop for something Windows could be doing <laughs> and the touchscreen. I hope they fix that because that would make this device for at least my wife a uh, easy sell for her to be able to switch over and use something that is a lot more repairable and something that we can feel better about going forward. So let me know if you have any questions about the framework, the 12th gen device. I, I, it's i5, I really like it. Or any other questions about you want me to answer about this device as well. Very impressed. Like I said, I'd like to get another one for my wife, a touchscreen hopefully um, she'd be okay with. Um, because that, that'd be kind of cool, but, but seriously, comments below. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. You can reach out to me uh, through email as well. Um, that's on my YouTube channel if you'd like, and until next time, um, God bless. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.